Welcome to the 3 Lead ECG Setup and Analysis video. For this video, we will be showing you how to use the BioRadio for a 3 Lead ECG acquisition and how to use our BioCatcher software for data acquisitioning. Begin by explaining the procedure. To get the best signal, proper preparation of the skin, such as shaving, cleaning the skin, and landmarking the areas prior to adding the electrodes provides an optimal environment for data acquisitioning. The use of surgical tape to take up lead length and to tape down electrodes helps in managing motion artifacts. The last step in setting up the bioradio is attaching the leads with the proper configuration as shown in the diagram to the right. Once you have set up your inputs, you can successfully proceed to the BioCatcher software. To proper use the BioRadio with the BioCatcher software, you will need to connect the BioRadio via a Bluetooth connection on your computer or provided by a USB dongle. Select the device by clicking onto our device manager and each power radio has a unique ID code. Select the ID code found on the back of your bio radio to connect via the device manager. After connecting the bio radio, confirm that the bio radio is properly programmed by selecting the device configuration. Here's where you can program it for single-ended or differential channels. For this demo, we'll be doing a differential channel. You can select the different signal types by clicking onto the drag down. Again, this demo will use ECG. For demo purposes, though, the difference will be in acquiring the proper resolution rate, as seen there between EEG and ECG. Selecting your sampling rates by clicking onto the drag down menu. We also can program our sensor pod for various different types of transducers, so you can acquire multi-signal acquisition. And last but not least, add context to data by capturing six degrees of freedom via our motion sensor. You can customize a channel by programming the resolution rates. Once you've programmed the device, hit Program the Device and select the Record option. Provide the name of the file along with the location of the file that you choose to record and then save. Automatically, you will begin to acquire data. You can scale your data by selecting, right-clicking on any channel and selecting the Y-axis. In this demo, we will use Select Continuous. You could graphically add grids to your channels. You can select different sampling rates. You could look at the frequency spectrum, apply also a notch filter. As you see here, you can view the QRS signals.
As you're acquiring the signals, you can program different sampling rates. Once you've gathered your data, hit the stop button. To, pre, to look at recorded data, select file, select recordings, locate the name of your folder, name of your file. Open the file, and as you see, you can actually review the same file. Right click onto the screen to view uh, the file as a, the Y axis to view it in a continuous format. As you see, this is the data that we just captured. If you select data, you could import files via memory mode on the BioRadio, or you could export this file, the raw data, uh, real-time information, along with the embedded event marker on the BioRadio. You could export this uh, to a CSV file format. Again, you identify the location, the name of the file. You select Save. And for this uh, video, we will show you what the uh, CSV file will look like. Your export was successful. Click OK. Uh, locate in the area where you have stored your file. Here I've located it in the Documents folder. Select the file. As you see, when I open it, you'll have one column that's time stamped and three columns of ECG data. Thank you for your participation. To view other information, please view our Great Lakes Neurotechnologies website at www.glnurotech.com.